Okay, I thought I'd show you Eurydicacil and Gardas. Give you some idea about how to tell the sexes apart. As adults, they are really, really quite easy to tell apart. This is an adult female. I keep her inside this, this very small container. It's just a takeaway food container. Um, it's got a mixture of sand and um, cocoa peat fibre. It's quite damp. Uh, I wouldn't keep it like that all year round. She looks very, very healthy outside as she's grabbing. And um, she seems terribly uh, happy in there. You can see quite clearly that she's got a quite short tail. Get the light right. Um, that's the distinguishing feature, is that she has quite a short tail. She's quite robust. Um, quite a bit different to the male who I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and they're usually fairly going scorpions to work with. They're not like Yashenkoi. Yashenkoi you can never pick up like this. They're completely radical. But Elon Gardas is a pretty easy going scorpion. They're a great scorpion. They're big. Relatively easy to keep. They can still have problems. Uh, they, they're easy to keep in big containers. I keep them in a the small container because I like to be able to study what's going on. But, um, she's um, quite happy to sit in my hand like that. But just take notice of the really short tail. Short tail, take notice of that and think about that, and then I'll show you the male in a minute. And you'll be able to see how quite different he is. Okay, here we have the adult male Eurydicacil and Gardas. This container I've got him in is the same size, take away food container. Um, this one's just on sand at the moment, I'll probably change it. He's um, just on sand and probably really could go on to peat. Now, have a look at that. I mean, he's got a very, very long tail. Very, very different to the female. This is where the name comes from. Eurydicus elongatus comes from the elongated um, tail or metasoma. It's incredibly long. The large spines on the segments. And a little bit, little bit different. He's a little bit different. He's lighter in, in, in sort of build. He's not as robust. Often a little bit lighter in coloration as well. Beautiful scorpions. The males actually quite they look quite large because of this really long tail. But they're not of the same bulk as, as the female. The female's definitely a heavier, bulkier animal. And the males develop this very, very long tail to deal with the female and her aggressive behaviour. She's um, because she defends her rock so strongly the rock space is her place to have young, to raise a family. It's very important to her from a genetic um, point of view, from, from passing on her genes. She does her best to fight anything off and he is an, he is an intruder to her. So he's developed a sexual sting where he brings his very long metasoma over, stings her in the hand, in the, in the manus in the hand, and um, surprisingly she calms down after the sting. The envenomation does something to her to slow her down and make her responsive. And then uh, they can go ahead with the promenade. And um, insemination can be completed for the next generation. And that's the male.